Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today's video, as you can see, is going to be a comparison video and I am doing this video in a little bit of a different format than I typically do my comparisons in the sense where I am going to just be showing the wallets rather than my face today because wallets are a little smaller than handbags so I'm sure you guys want to get an up close view of all the positives and negatives so that's why in today's video you all you're going to be seeing are the wallets so you will be giving a break from my face for a change so in today's video I have a comparison of two really really popular wallets I have the Louis Vuitton Rosalie which you guys know is one of my favorites if you've been on my channel for a long time compared to the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin. These are very, very similar wallets. And I've actually had a lot of you ask me to do a specific comparison. So what I'm going to do in today's video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about each wallet. I'm going to tell you the price. I'm going to share with you what fits, durability, wear and tear, pros and cons, everything there is to know about these wallets. And hopefully that will help you guys make a decision as to which wallet you want to purchase. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into the comparison between the Rosalie and Zippy. So I love these two wallets and let me tell you how you can know that because I have two of each. For the Zippy, I have it in the Spring in the City collection in the multicolor. And then for the Rosalie, I have the monogram and then I have this one, which was the Wild at Heart. So I love these wallets. Anytime I duplicate something, you are sure to know that I love them. So let's go ahead. Let's kind of start with the Zippy right here. And I want to tell you a little bit about this wallet. This one in particular was from the Spring in the City. You can see how beautiful it is. You have the ombre print on the back. You have the LV logos. Then on this side, you have the large LV logo. And these colors are just to die for. I knew I had to have something from this collection. It's so beautiful. Uh, you can see it has the little LV zipper pull, which is still nice and shiny. It unzips like this. And it opens to a beautiful pink interior. So there is a slot here, two credit card slots here, a slot here, two credit card slots there, and you can see it's got the gusset side, so it opens very, very wide, and you can use this for cards, you can use this for coins, you can use this for receipts, you can use it for cash, whatever your little heart desires. So that is the Zippy. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Rosalie. Here is the beautiful Rosalie. This one is in the monogram canvas. You can see it has this S stud closure. This one has the leather on top, but you can also get it with the gold button, as you can tell by this Wild at Heart one. It opens like this. There's a compartment back here, a credit card slot there, credit card slot there, and then there is a little zip compartment in which I do have coins. As you can see, yes, we always joke I am like the last person on earth who still carries coins. So you can see it is a really cute little compact wallet with the monogram canvas, no pocket on the back. That is the description of both of them. Okay, so the first category that I want to start with is kind of like what fits in the wallet and the ways to use it. It's kind of one and the same, I think. So here's the Rosalie. Now I am a card person. I think these two wallets are really, really good if you are a card person because they hold quite a few. So let me share with you how I use this one. So a lot of times what I will do is obviously I will keep change in this compartment here. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I do. And then I just kind of grab some gift cards. I have about five gift cards, but let's pretend those are credit cards. And you can see five, you know, fits in there really nicely. So I could say you could probably double it up comfortably. And then what I like to do is I have cash here. So I just have eight bucks. I like to fold the cash in half like this. And I like to place it in the back compartment. So I've mentioned to you guys, I like to be really organized with my things. And the nice thing about this wallet, it is compartmentalized. So it keeps you nice and organized. So I always carry my cash in the back, my cards here. And then of course I carry my coins here. So it's really nice 
and easy. And plus, when you reach in to get cards, it's just easy to pull them out. Of course, if you wanted to put a card here, you could, but I always just stuff all of them right there. And then it closes like so. You can see how that fits. So now I want to share with you how I use the zippy. Okay, so here is the zippy coin. So what I will do is I will unzip it. I do not usually use these little card slots. I'll just do the same thing as the Rosalie where I put the cards in that way. And you can see the, the zippy will fit a lot more than the Rosalie. You can see you have one gusset in the Rosalie and the other one has two. So if we're talking about what fits, like this one can definitely fit more. But the way I wear it, I use it is I have cards here and then you can put cash here. Or if you want, you can put cash in this little slot in the back. So there is plenty of room. You can also put um, change right here if you like. So you can see there is a ton of space in this one. So... For this particular category, if we're talking about like what fits, you can definitely see that the zippy coin definitely fits more. I want to talk about durability and wear and tear. So we are going to start with the Rosalie. So for the Rosalie, the only complaint I have so far about the wear and tear is you can see, I don't know if it's going to pick up really, really well, but there's a little bit of the leather button kind of coming off a little bit that is a big complaint so that's if you have the leather leather version and then if you have this one you can see there are some little scuff marks I don't know if it's going to pick up but there are some little scuff marks on the inside of the wallet I use this to death it's an amazing condition there is a little bit of coin residue, as you can see. So keep that in mind. If you do choose to use this for coins, there will be some residue. So keep that in mind. But other than that, I would say my Rosalie's are in amazing condition other than the little press stud closure and the interior. But that is strictly my fault from using coin. So it does have coin residue. Let's discuss the wear and tear on the zippy so so far on this one I have minimal wear and tear you can see it still looks great however I have not had this one quite as long as I have had the Rosalie but you can see the interior looks beautiful it looks clean but I do want to talk about this one for a second because I've had this one for a long time and I actually had to take this to Louis Vuitton to get it repaired so you can see the zipper here the pull which is underneath here it actually came out now you would think I had overstuffed it but I really did not overstuff it so I had to go and I did have to get that fixed so for wear and tear I would have to include that because that is something that went wrong and when you do pay this kind of money for luxury products I really don't think you should have to pay to get things repaired but other than that everything else looks like beautiful with it but I did want to let you know that that was one thing that I did have to get repaired on this so for this one you have the zipper pull and then for the Rosalie um, I just had like the little um, button and then on the inside I did have some coin residue which I have not had the residue happen on my the coin residue, which on this one, I have not had any residue. And you can see that beautiful purple interior. Okay, so we talked about what fits. We talked about the durability and the wear and tear. Now I want to talk about like the ease of use because of course when you're using wallets, you want it to be easy to use because if you're going to pay for something, you need to have a space for everything. So I would say these are very similar in the sense where they're both co compartmentalized. You can see here, I keep my cashier cards here, coin here. And then in this one, you can have the same layout. And this one does have a little more space. However, I do feel like the Rosalie is a little easier to use. You just open it up. Everything is compartmentalized, easy to grab your things, snap it your back. This one, I have found that the zipper on this can be really stiff, especially when you start to fill things up. So let me put things in it and I will show you what I mean. So let me just add the cash here and then I will add like the cards and you can see when I'm putting the cards, how it's kind of like a, like a pain to get it in and then you close it. Okay, and the zipper is kind of stiff. So I would say for ease of use, it's definitely the Rosalie. You just open it up, 
grab your cards out, get your coins if you need it, put your cash back here, very easy. This one right here, not only is the zipper a little stiff, but it also is a pain in the butt, not necessarily to get your cards out, but kind of when you go to put them back in, it's more of a pain, so. Okay, I compared the two with categories. Now what I wanna do is I wanted to kind of tell you the pros and cons of each wallet. So let's move this one to the side. And let's start with the lovely Rosalie. Okay, so of course the pros on the Rosalie, it is cute and compact, and I love that there is a place for everything, for your cash, for your cards, for your coins. The only thing better is if there'd be a pocket on the back, but this is just such a cute, compact wallet. Another nice thing about this wallet as well is it is really, really affordable for Louis Vuitton. So for whatever reason, this is one of those items that the price just hasn't increased. I really don't know why because it's such a good item. So this one comes in around 400, whereas the Zippy coin is definitely a lot more expensive. You're, we're talking like $100 more expensive, uh, depending on whether or not you get like the basic monogram or one of the specialty pieces. Another thing, it's really easy to use. I love that you can just reach in your purse, grab everything, and as I stated, because it is compartmentalized, it's so simple and easy to use. So these are the pros that I would like to mention about the Rosalie. Now let's talk about the pros of the Zippy. Okay, let's talk pros of the Zippy. The thing about this, it is, once again, similar to the... Rosalie, where there it is compartmentalized, you can put your cards, your cash, your coin. And the one the biggest pro I would say is the fact that it can fit more. It can definitely fit more. You can see this gusset here, whereas the rose that has two gussets here, whereas the Rosalie only has one. So uh, much larger. So if you're someone that wants to carry more, you might like this one better because of the two gussets. Okay, so we're gonna now talk about a couple of the cons and I'm gonna start with this one just since we have this one on the screen right now. Some of the cons on this one is the zipper pull for me can be kind of stiff, which can be a hassle when you're trying to get into it. Plus I did mention that with this one, the Louis Vuitton little zipper pull did kind of come out and I did have to get it replaced. So that was a bit of a con. Another thing too, I when I do fill this, it can get a little bulky, like bulk out at the sides. And this leather, like this part right here can stretch out a little bit. You can already kind of see it right there. And I'm definitely not over stuffing it. But plus another thing too, is this can get a little expensive. This one right here comes in around $105 more than the Rosalie. So that is a huge con in my book. Now let's talk about the cons of the Rosalie. Of course, the biggest con I would have to see, depending on whether or not you get the leather button or if you get this one right here, there are little dings on there. And then there are like this button part starts to kind of peel off a little bit. I had that happen with my Victorine wallet as well. So keep that in mind. And just like the other one, it can also have a tendency to get a little bit bulky the more things that you put in it. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so now we come to the part of the video where I'm going to tell you guys which one I prefer. And this really is a hard choice. But I think if you guys have been following me for a long time, you probably know what I'm going to go with. And the winner between these two is going to be da, 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 the Rosalie. I love this. I can't say enough good things, but let me tell you why I prefer this one. Obviously both are great wallets, but you know, if we're talking like a hundred dollar difference, I would definitely say go with this one for sure. It's a cute, compact wallet. It fits all of your necessities from your cash to your cards, to your coins. I love that it's compartmentalized. And another thing, the main thing too, is I reach for it more. And I haven't had any issues like I did with these where I had to get the zipper pull replaced. And the fact that this can have a stiff zipper really, really drives me crazy from time to time. So Judging from the one that I reach for more, I definitely reach for the Rosalie. It is by far my favorite compact wallet. It fits in every handbag you could imagine, and it is just so good. It really is. I would highly, highly recommend this one.
Okay guys, there you have it. That was my comparison, my quick little comparison between the Rosalie and the Zippy coin. As I stated, both of these are great wallets. So hopefully I provided a little bit of clarity to help you guys make your decision. As I always state in all of my handbag comparison videos, as well as my wallet comparison videos, I like to break it up into categories. So that way you can focus on what category is the most important to you. And hopefully that will help make your decision. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And if you're interested in any other handbag comparisons, I have done a ton. I actually created a playlist. So if you're curious, make sure to check out that section of my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I would love to know your thoughts. If you own both of these wallets, which one do you prefer? I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.